Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Sunday, June 17th. It's the fourth Sunday after Pentecost and week five in the Psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 93, Acts 13, verse 1 through 12, and the Song of the Three Young Men, verses 29 through 34. And join me in singing the fifth verse of God My King by Mike Confessing. Full of kindness and compassion, slow to anger, vast in love. God is good to all creation, all his works his goodness prove. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. together. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault in our thoughts and words and deeds and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, you reign clothed in majesty and girded with strength. Alleluia. Psalm 93, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, you reign clothed in majesty and girded with strength. You establish the world so that it cannot be moved. Your throne is established of old. You are everlasting and evermore. The floods have lifted up. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their waves. You are on high. You are mightier than the noise of many waters. Yes, than the mighty waves of the sea. And your testimonies are sure. And holiness becomes your dwelling forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, you reign clothed in majesty and guarded with strength. Alleluia. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 13, beginning at verse 1. Now in the church at Antioch there were prophets and teachers. Barnabas, Simon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manaen, a member of the court of Herod the ruler, and Saul. And while they were worshiping the Most High and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then after fasting and praying, they laid their hands on them and sent them off. So being sent out by the Holy Spirit, they went down to Seleucia, and from there they sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived at Salome, they proclaimed the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews, and they had John also to assist them. When they had gone through the whole island as far as Paphos, they met a certain magician, a Jewish false prophet named Bar-Jesus. He was with the proconsul Sergius Paulus, an intelligent man who summoned Barnabas and Saul and wanted to hear the word of God. But the magician Elimas, for that is the translation of his name, opposed them and tried to turn the proconsul away from the faith. But Saul, also known as Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked intently at him and said, You son of the devil, you enemy of all righteousness, full of all deceit and villainy, will you not stop making crooked the straight paths of the Lord? And now listen. The hand of the Lord is against you, and you will be blind for a while, unable to see the sun. 
Immediately, mist and darkness came over him, and he went about groping for someone to lead him by the hand. And when the proconsul saw what had happened, he believed, for he was astonished at the teaching about the Lord. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth, Keep us as the apple of your eye, hide us under the shadow of your wings, and for all of your intentions. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to sing. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Alleluia! Blessed are you, beloved God of our ancestors. We praise you and exalt you above all forever. Alleluia! The Song of the Three Young Men. And please recite it with me. Alleluia! Blessed are you, beloved God of our ancestors. We praise you and exalt you above all forever. Blessed is your glorious and holy name. We praise you and exalt you above all forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your glory. We praise you and highly exalt you forever. Blessed are you that behold the depths and are seated upon the cherubim. We praise you and highly exalt you forever. Blessed are you on your glorious throne. We praise you and highly exalt you forever. Blessed are you in the great vault of heaven. We praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.